Hey cosplayers, I'm super excited about what we have today. This is going to just be so amazing. Alright, have you ever had your foam clay creations dry out on you before you uh, have it completely added to your cosplay? Or before you go to a con and you're all worried about it being, being too, brittle, too brittle and breaking on you? So we have an, uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make these soft and flexible again, even better than it was when you first originally made it. Alright? If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe so you get, and hit that bell notification and select all notifications so that you get notified anytime we come out with one of these cosplay quick tip clips. <laughs> Alright, with that we're going to dive in. Uh, the nature of foam clay being air dry is that uh, when you first make it, uh, it's got all the moisture in it and everything, it gets exposed to the air, it's going to start to dry out. Uh, once it cures, usually within that first 24 to 48 hour time period, it still remains flexible for a while, um, and if you seal it at that point with Plastidiv or whatever and trap that moisture in and keep the air out, it'll continue to stay pretty flexible for you. But if you miss that window, you get into like, you know, from after that uh, first 72 hours to within a week time period, it can start to dry all the way through. And what happens is it's going to dry all the way through and then it'll reabsorb moisture from the air and get back to an equilibrium where it's flexible again. But we don't have time for that. So I have a way to super speed that reabsorption process and make this piece flexible again. So you can see this one is um, dried out. You can just hear the dryness just from using it, right? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually break off a piece on this to show you Aww. how brittle it is. It was my creation, <laughs> right? So um, that just shows how kind of like brittle it can get to, especially these thinner pieces like this. But Here's the secret to be able to make this amazing, all right? So I grabbed an empty FOMO container. I'm just going to assume you guys have empty FOMO containers lying around from all the FOMO you've been buying, right? <laughs> this is going to work great for exactly what we need here. You're going to get a little paper towel and fold it up into a square like this. Get it wet. Wring it out, but not all the way, just so it's not like actively dripping anymore, but that it's still pretty wet. And what we're going to do is... Set this um, paper towel, stick it to the side wall of the tub. We're gonna place your piece, whether it's this delicate flower or a spike or whatever it might be that dried out on you. We're gonna set the lid on top, not seal the lid on top because it will blow up in the microwave. And just set it on top. We're gonna pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. That's just a regular microwave. Just a regular microwave, it's not an oven. It's just cool looking. Anyway, while that 30 seconds goes, um, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what is your single greatest challenge when it comes to working with foam clay. Uh, I want to be able to hear from you guys and hopefully find these answers or get you a response and create a video answering your question in the near future. So let me know. And with that, we've got just a couple seconds left. And then I'll show you one that we just did this to last night and the magic that happens from it. Okay? So I'm going to pull this out. I'm not gonna pull the lid off. I'm just gonna, now that I pulled it out, I'm just gonna pop that lid down on tight. You can see it's steamy you inside. You can see how steamy it is, like a Amazon rainforest in there. And then we're just gonna set this off to the side, let it sit overnight, come back in the morning, and check this out. This is one we just did last night. Look at that. Look how flexible that is. Look at this piece down here. So flexible, so perfect. It, it feels like it was just made. It, yeah, it feels like even better than when it was just made. It's well, amazing. Yeah. Like, look at that. The squish, the bounce to it. It's amazing! This trick is so cool! I'm so excited! Um, please share this with anybody that you know that works with foam clay because this is going to save the day uh, when they find out they can do this. If you've ever had this problem yourself, you know how frustrating that can be. You make a piece, it's all perfect, and then it dries out a little bit too much before you can finish it. Uh, because adulting happens and you had to go do something else before you could come back. And this way, you can fix it. Then once it's at, the, it's at this point, glue it onto your cosplay and seal it up and you're good to go. So, super excited. Please share this. Give it a like if you like this. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't like this, but I don't know who wouldn't like this. This is amazing. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and select all. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much. Cosplay on, my friends.